Okay, so next we want to think about hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is a tissue that, that's very tough, um, but it's also very flexible. And the best thing to do to understand the nature of hyaline cartilage is to manipulate the end of your nose, which contains hyaline cartilage. And if you squeeze that and pull on it, you can tell that it's, it's a pretty tough piece of uh, tissue, but at the same time, it's very flexible. And that's because hyaline cartilage has a semi-solid ground substance made up of something called chondrin. So chondrin is the name of that semi-solid ground substance in hyaline cartilage. And I just took a, a sort of a blue marker and colored in a spot here on the board to represent the chondrin. And then we can take the eraser and just make a couple of uh, spots within that chondrin. So it's a semi-solid substance. And so imagine little chambers within that semi-solid ground substance. And the little chambers are called lacuna. And within these lacuna, we find the cells. Of course, the cells are called chondrocytes. So hyaline cartilage is a tough yet flexible tissue that has a semi-solid ground substance made out of chondrin and within the chondrin, uh, within that ground substance are chambers called lacuna and the cells called chondrocytes are found within the chambers. Now within this chondrin we may find our fibers such as the elastic fibers. These are often difficult to see in the micrographs, but we may have some elastic fibers. We may have our collagenous fibers that we were talking about. And all of this working together gives hyaline cartilage its uh, unique characteristics. So if we look at a micrograph of hyaline cartilage, it would look like this. Now, this particular slide is one that we've looked at on some of our other tissues. This is actually a trachea slide. For example, you may recall seeing the fibrous connective tissue or dense connective tissue in this area. Up in here are some adipose cells that we've uh, talked about. Here's another thin line of dense connective tissue. We always find dense connective tissue surrounding hyaline cartilage. And so this is, is the hyaline cartilage itself. Some people say it has a color of milk glass, if you know what milk glass is. Um, and I just want to point out the uh, lacuna. So there's a chamber called a lacuna, and you can see there are two chondrocytes found within that particular chamber. Uh, here's another one. Everywhere you see these cells, there are lacuna uh, that the cells are found in. So if you want to fill the hyaline cartilage in your trachea, you can just sort of rub up and down in your trachea and you can fill the rings there and your larynx or your voice box is also made of hyaline cartilage. And you want that to be flexible, especially if you have a, a blow to your throat, you would want it to flex and you can take your your trachea and your larynx and, and move it around a little bit. But if you had a blow to your throat, you wouldn't want it to collapse because that would impair your ability to breathe. So hyaline cartilage is, is very tough, but yet it has that flexibility and allows it to do a good job in places like uh, the trachea. We also find it uh, in the articular cartilage at the end of long bones, and as we mentioned, it can be found at the end of your nose. So that's hyaline cartilage.